What's going on everybody, Dogman Dan here, and I want to go over some stuff with you today. This is going to be relating to the Tethra's Doom event that just released with 12.4 update in Warframe. So let's talk about it, what you need to know, what you need to do, starting, scoring, rewards, and the stuff that you all want to know about. So I've got some footage in the background, already ran this a couple times. Um, I'll bring you the full gameplay in another video, but uh, just so you can see it in the background. Anyway, so... What you need to do, uh, you'll receive the blueprint from the Lotus of uh, the Tethra Cypher Key. Uh, this will be your key uh, to the new tile set, which is called the Hidden Grenier Shipyards. Uh, in order to craft the Cypher, you'll need to collect unique data fragments by playing the Tethra's Doom Interception mission on Earth. Um, interception mode still rather boring, just to let you know. Uh, once you have the necessary resources, you can craft the Tethra Cypher. Your blueprint will not be consumed, so you can reuse that blueprint over and over and over. Um, you use Cypher to open the Greenier Shipyards and play the new Hijack game mode. Simply put, Hijack is a escort mission, just so everybody knows. Um, in Hijack, you will need to find a formation power core and activate the control panel to release it. Once released, the core will become unstable and its health will begin to degrade. If the core runs out of health before it reaches its destination, it will rupture and killing everything in its vicinity. So it'll kill everybody in the group if you let the health get all the way down. Uh, standing near the power core will remove will move it forward, escort mission. Uh, but it will drain your shields, so use resources wisely. Um, any damage it takes during the fight will only hasten its destruction just so you know okay so it's fairly simple everybody gets in the group everybody stays with the power core you move along with the power core you get it to the end you get your reward more or less so what you should know once you've successfully completed the mission the cipher will be consumed so you'll have to go and replay uh, interception mode in order to get the data fragments again um, the event starts on Wednesday or it already started Wednesday the 5th and will end on Wednesday March the 12th at noon okay so this is a one week long event um, right up front you get four people in this mission you're done with it it only takes one run to do this it's not a grind event at all um, which actually kinda upset about but it only takes one five ten minutes and you're done uh, scoring Upon completion each mission, you will be scored as follows. Individual scoring. The health remaining is your score. Okay, clan scoring. Clan scores will be determined by the sum of each participant's best score. So, whoever, whatever your score is, whatever your best score is throughout the event process, plus everybody else's best score will determine the clan score. So, the rewards. Uh, individual rewards. Complete mission uh, with between 1 and 249 points. You will receive an event badge and a 3-day affinity booster. Complete the mission with between 250 and 499 points, and you'll receive the following four mods. These are four brand new mods, similar to the last event. Uh, these new mods are dual stat mods. So you've got Jolt for pistol, Shell Shock for shotgun, High Voltage for rifle, uh, Voltiac Strike for melee. What they are is they are 15% status or proc chance, and a 15% electrical damage as your base stat mods. Um, complete the mission with 500 or more points, and you receive the Gorgon Wraith. So, if you ever had the Gorgon, now they're going to have a Gorgon Wraith version. Uh, clan rewards, a gold, silver, and bronze clan statue will be distributed to the top three clans in each clan tier. Um, I don't see our clan making the top three because we don't have a full clan at this point. You'd pretty much have to have the full max amount of people in your clan and everybody get the highest score that's potentially possible in order to get to the top of that. But it's there uh, for people to try. Anyway, so keeping that short, I uh, will catch you guys in the next episodes. Stay tuned. i got a lot coming out for you. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button uh, if you did. Leave some comments below if you've got any questions about the event. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you later.